Are you in the market for Airbnb data like this? Maybe you're an Airbnb host and want to know how much you should be charging every day and how the prices change day by day, season by season. Or maybe you're thinking about buying a home and renting it out and you want to know how much revenue you can expect from Airbnb. Whatever your case may be, other companies have figured out how to get this data and they're selling it for the low, low price of only $99 a month. So where are they getting all of this public Airbnb data from? If I were them, I would start looking at Airbnb directly and look at their API, which unfortunately is a closed API and doesn't appear to offer API access to public listings, pricing, and availability. Even though we know from their website it's clearly public information they make available, so why don't they offer an API to access it? Well, maybe there are other APIs or similar things out there we can search for. So let's go to Google and type in Airbnb API. Let's add the word GitHub to the end to see if we can find any open source software to help us out. And let's see here. Let's just click on the first result. Unofficial REST API wrapper. Oh, what's this? Listing search. Airbnb's mighty search bar in JSON format. Here it looks like I can search for all of Airbnb for listings. Get a specific listing info, get information about the host. You can even get data about reservations and how booked each listing is to figure out the availability rate. Just like that fancy software that sells for $99 a month. Only problem is this is a GitHub repo, which means I have to download it, figure out how to use it, figure out where to run the code. I don't know what format the responses are going to be in. Um, I don't know, just a lot of messy work. We could use this repo if we want, and we can get more into that in another video, but I just want to know really the URLs that this underlying repo is using to access Airbnb, just out of curiosity. So I did what any normal human being would do in this situation and pulled up the source code to the library. And here's an interesting file I found. It's about a thousand lines long, and it looks like it's doing most of the work talking to Airbnb. So I'm going to search for the word Airbnb.com, if that were a word. And, oh, what's this? API.Airbnb.com slash v2 slash calendars. And look at this. Here's a put. Here's everything else I need to know on how this API wrapper is talking to Airbnb.com even though it's unofficial. Let's see what else is in here. I'm going to search for now slash v2 to get more endpoints. I see calendars, listings, threads, so probably comments, reservations. Oh wow, there are a lot of interesting URLs here. So if we know how to access these URLs, we could basically use them directly instead of through this open source software which would be preferable in situations where, let's say you have some software that can take any URL and extract structured data from it and aggregate and stitch it all together. You could get you know, tens of thousands of data points and make interesting visualizations with them if that software existed. Uh, but again, because this is all unofficial, it really may not be in compliance with Airbnb's terms of service to use such hypothetical software with these hypothetical URLs. So then how do you get data from Airbnb? Well, I'm so interested in these URLs, I went through the open source code and put up this cool web page here that documents a few of the interesting URLs just for documentation purposes. So if you're interested, as I am, head on over to the web page. There's a link below, and you can look at the URLs that the open source library is using. I also link to the GitHub repo as well. So I would suggest either using the GitHub repo. It's in Node.js. There are a few other GitHub repos there uh, on the link below. One's in Python. And you can also Google around. There are developers making new libraries all the time. Or you can take a look at the URLs I posted and potentially, you know, maybe use them directly. Um, it's up to you. You know, you may be breaking Airbnb's terms of service, which would be sort of like, you know, breaking the speed limit. It's just something no one ever does. You don't want to do that. Um, but anyway, they're here on this page just for reference if you're interested. 
Other than that, I hope you have an amazing day and I hope you find some Airbnb data and put in the comments below what hypothetical API calls would you like to see from a hypothetical Airbnb API if one hypothetically existed that we could use with automated software. All right, that's enough words. Take care, stay data-driven.